G'day guys. In today's video, I'm doing a BIOS update on the MSI Sword 15. I just received this today, and about a bit less than two weeks ago, a BIOS update came out for it. It is running a different BIOS version than what I've already got on here. So being that the MSI, or the Acer Nitro 5 that I had, had a, BIOS, a V BIOS update as well incorporated in the BIOS update, I'm gonna give it a shot with this one. So look in here, Apparently the Sword 15, they had their first original BIOS on the on the 21st of July this year. And there's been about another BIOS about every month or so since then, leading up into today, which gives us version 30.A. I've already downloaded it from the MSI site and copied it onto a flash drive. So I should just be able to go to the BIOS, which I can do by going to start, and then go to recovery recovery options and go restart so it just says it's got performance improvements doesn't necessarily mean it's really going to change much but if it or not performance improvements improved stability so that could virtually mean anything but I usually like having the latest firmware or newer firmware and whatnot on my devices so we'll give it an update and go from there there's really not much more to say about it, but it's pretty straightforward. So I've opened and extracted the file, copied the 32 meg file onto a flash drive, which is now plugged in down here. Should have to only really go to UEFI BIOS update. Click on that. And do BIOS update. Point it to the flash drive. Should hopefully show up here somewhere. Not sure what devices these are referring to. I'll go here. There we go, E1581IMS.30A, and I'll go enter. Open BIOS image to update, yes. BIOS updating, the system will automatically, well, will power off and then power on automatically. So this is where the heart, the heart palpitations start, you go okay, and then you think you've just broke your $2,000 machine. Move it back a bit, get it back in focus. So now it gives us the option to proceed with the flash, which is what we want to do. And now we have a heart attack. Flash update, message box. Message box for progress update. Oh, thank you. Very nice of it to do that. It's not really telling me much at all. Warning system firmware is being updated. Keyboard is locked, do not power off. Once firmware update is complete, press any key to reboot your system. So now we just keep focus on here. Typically with most of the BIOS updates on laptops, usually you do expect the fans to run at full speed. And then hit the spacebar. And here's where the the real worry begins. As you see down the bottom there, I've got a blinking light. Don't have any LEDs on. So from here, looks like we're starting up once more. Now I forgot the tangent that I was going on after that. That brain numbing of the BIOS update turning on, turning off, turning on. I believe usually when you do a BIOS update as well, it will usually reset your settings back to default. So typically if you've got anything entered in the BIOS that you've modified, you will have to re-modify it after the update. Typically those settings don't get preserved. It's definitely trying to start up. There we go. And we're all BIOS updated. So that's a little quick how to do a BIOS update and have a heart attack on your MSI Sword 15. Hope that helps and I'll see you guys later. Bye.